Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a lot of first impressions on some of this makeup and did a full face tutorial. So if you'd like to see how I've created this look using new products on the um, that have just been released in the last same month or so and new products to me. So if you want to see how I used what is in my hands, stay tuned. All right, so we're going to get started using the Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation. And I have to give Ulta props. Um, trying to get into this bottle with the outside seal that they had was like wrestling a gorilla. So that went on relatively nicely. For powder today, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. For a lip pencil today, I'm going to use the Cafe, and this is from NYX. I'm going to top it off with this number, ooh, I was going to top it off with this number 14 from Coastal Sense, but for cheeks, um, I picked up this cute little guy from Benefit and it's called Dallas. So for eyes today, this isn't new to anyone but me, um, the Lorac Mega Pro. It's got loads of pretty pinks and grays, so this should be fun. We're going to start all over the eye with the color Fawn. Next, we're going to go in with this color Orchid. These colors are blending really nice and they're so pretty. Okay, so I wasn't exactly pleased with that lip um, from Coastal Scents. I had a lot more hope for it. So I went ahead and added some Milani Bright Shine Lip Gloss. I've had this off to the side and just hadn't used it yet. So I like how that kind of lit up the lip and this color is in Rome. So, sorry for getting sidetracked on the lip. I just, I couldn't, Coastal Sense has got to go bye-bye because that's, that's just, it's not working for me. Okay, so my next color I'm gonna use is some Merlot mixed with some maroon. And if you hear my dog barking in the background, I'm sorry. Being in a new location, he is a country dog learning to live in the city and there's a lot more city noise than he's used to <laughs> and god bless him he's already lost his little voice once and it sounds a little pitiful right now but that doesn't stop him next we're going to take some mulberry and we're going to kind of darken or brighten i don't know which one you want to call it the outer part of the eye I'm gonna take a flat angle brush and I'm gonna go back in with this orchid. I'm gonna go next with the maroon and Merlot. And I'm gonna take, pick up some Indigo. And with the Indigo, I almost did kind of like a little wing. Um, what I'm gonna do next is take a pointed crease brush with that Indigo, and I'm gonna use that as my guide to just add, and add a little bit of 
smokiness. Sometimes it's easier when I finish my under eye and then go back up to add my dark and then that way it, it is kind of a nice guide. And then I'm going to take my nice little, or not little, fat fluffy brush. Now I'm going to use the Sephora Wink It and this is in black because I love it. It's waterproof. Okay, I'm gonna pull out, and I haven't, I'm not sure that I use this other than I think I swatched it. Um, I have my favorite bronzers that I use, but I'm gonna pull this out. It's a blush and bronzer mini palette from Coastal Scents. I got this in one of the subscriptions like I said, all I did was swatch it. So since this is kind of a full face new to me, I'm gonna use the darker along this double chin of mine. That's such the fun part about aging. Stuff starts sagging, wrinkling. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. I'm going to go in with this white, and white it is, so we're going to see how this works, except I got pasty white skin, so it might be okay, um, to go ooh, a little bit under the brows. It's a Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara, and I love it. I can't remember how much I paid for it, so I do need to find that out, but again, I love it. I'm so pumped about this mascara. In fact, I need to put the link below for um, where I get it from because Miss Mickey would love for you to order from her. I am going to use the setting mist with rosemary. I did try this yesterday for the first time, so we're going to chat again. This is by Supergoop. Then to make sure my waterline looks awake, I'm going to use the new Marc Jacobs. And this color is in... Dun, dun, dun pink of me and it is the highliner matte gel crayon okay so in today's video i told you guys um all over the place um i realized i didn't use my new highlighter hello so we're gonna add that and then i'll do my review so i'm gonna try the new anastasia beverly hills glow kit and using the pinky tones i'm gonna pick up Kitty Cat, and we're gonna see, oh, looky cookie. Wow. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. And glow, it does. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Anastasia Pebble Hills. I love it. Thank you so much for joining my video today using the first impressions, new and new to me. Um, video. So we're going to go through each of these that are in my hand and I'll do kind of a quick review and see if these are some things that you need in your arsenal. So let's get started. Um, so we're going to start with my left hand, your right, the Marc Jacobs um, Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crown. So I bought them in three colors, pink, and I also have it in, I don't see the color, Earthquake and Brownie. So I've been um, testing these out and I really like them. So the pink actually makes the eye look um, open. The um, other browns smudge really nice and stay on the waterline a little bit longer than I had expected. So I do love these. Um, next was the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Forgot my highlighter till the very last. Don't know how. It's been one of those days. And use the pink. Oh my gosh, check out. Wow. Boom. Okay, so I love highlighters. I love them. Um, I think for me, get aging, um, it adds a nice glow to the skin, and so I really appreciate that. So I would purchase this again. 
Next is the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. Um, I got this from my friend Mickey in Georgia. And this, I love it. It adds um, nice thickness to the eyelashes without having to wear false ones because somehow I've become allergic to most of the glue and false eyelashes, which if you've seen a lot of my earlier videos, you saw I wore them every day. So having to get used to not having false eyelashes has been traumatic. Um, so I really look for good mascaras now and this one I really like. So I will be repurchasing this again. Um, the HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation. I'm gonna do a separate video all day wear test. This is the first time I opened it and Ulta, you know how to package stuff good. It was wrestling a gorilla to get to this. Um, so I'm hoping that the foundation performs as well as trying to open the package <laughs> because if it does, this foundation isn't coming off. Um, but I liked how it applied. It went on really nice with the brush. In fact, I didn't have to use a damp beauty blender afterwards to kind of work out stroke marks, which sometimes you have to do when using a brush. This is soft and went on really nice. Next, um, I, I use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder. So it actually really helped make a flawless look with the um, Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus. So this two combo looks really good starting out in the day. So I can't wait to see how it performs at um, the end of a work day. So I may come back around and actually have two videos in one. Um, Coastal Scents, I bought it because I like the color and I bought it online here, but when I opened it, it was slightly darker. I wasn't a huge fan of it, so I actually topped it off with um, Milani Rome. It's a brilliant shine lip gloss, so I like the color much better after I covered it. Um, so I don't know what that says. The Catrice Glamandol is a waterproof mascara and waterproof it is. I've used this before and buddy, it is hard to get off. So if you need a hard to get off staying power, this is probably gonna be great for summertime if you're by the pool, lake, etc. because this stuff is hard to get off, just saying. So once you put it on, just realize you're gonna have to be gentle to your little lashes when you may need to use some oil or something and let it sit there for a moment <laughs> because um, Glamondol stays on the waterproof. Love it. Okay, so next is the setting mist with Rosemary and it has a Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50 by Super Goop. Love the Rosemary smell if you can get past the alcohol smell. So um, it has more of a alcohol kind of smell and feel to it, which I don't really care for the alcohol smell, but I do like the rosemary when you get a hint of that. I thought that smelled, the rosemary piece smelled pretty. I think that is great for setting spray, but again, not so much into the alcohol smell. Um, I do prefer Scandinavia because they don't have, this, the setting spray doesn't have that alcohol smell. I wish Scandinavia would pick up a smell like rosemary and put it in there. So Scandinavia, if anyone's watching, probably not. But if you can do that, great. Okay, last is um, the Lorac Pro Palette. And this is absolutely beautiful if you love pinks and mauves and... I mean, even some nudes, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I did enjoy putting together this pink look. Um, with a little bit of black in it to because I really like a lot of eye makeup. What can I say? I'm addicted to really bold eyes. So I did like this and um, if you are into pinks with some neutrals this um, Lorac Mega Pro palette um, is pretty awesome. So that concludes my first impressions video. So, oh, 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 no, it doesn't. I also use the Benefit Dallas blush. It is a pinkish, kind of brownish color, not 
peach, more on the pink side, but I like that color. Um, what I liked about it is I don't really enjoy bright pink blushes. Pinks don't always look good on me. It makes me look tired or they make, because my skin undertone is reds, um, pinks normally don't look good on me. That one, because it's a little bit of a pinky brown for my skin tone, I think worked kind of nice, don't you think? So anyways, that's the, now it's the end of my first um, impressions video. So I hope you liked it. If you have any comments, put them below. If you have any products you think I need to try, also put those below because I am a product junkie and I enjoy trying it all. Um, thank you so much for watching and as always, make it a beautiful day. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions, first look on this Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette, the Glow Kit. Um, so if you want to see how this baby puts on and my first impressions, stay tuned. All right, so let's get started swatching. I absolutely love this kitty cat. Ooh. Lord. So Kitty Cat is a beautiful pink. Check that out. I feel like a cupcake and I'm enjoying feeling like a cupcake right now. So we are going to look at um, some Forever Young, some Daydream, Forever Lit, and Glow Getter. So let's put those all side by side on my hand. And I really didn't apply pressure. Um, one of the things that drives me nuts about swatch tests is when you can see the people doing a swatch test and they're pushing really hard on their skin. Um, to me, that doesn't seem like it's an accurate swatch. When you can see their skin pulling as they pull down, it drives me insane. Um, so we're going to use the 143, and because I have Kitty Cat over my, um, on my cheekbones, we're still going to swatch those, and we'll put those kind of side by side. Yeah. So look at those colors, and I don't know if my skin's so white, um, but you can, even with how white my skin is, you can see just those colors absolutely popping. So, um... I have to say that I was not expecting this glow kit to be amazing. Um, I actually had low expectations for this glow kit. Um, mostly I think because I was watching some of the other videos from other, um, say Too Faced, and I almost bought a bunch of the, the or not a bunch, but the Too Faced highlighters, and I watched some videos and was less than impressed with what they look like. And so, you know, my hopes had gone down when I was purchasing, thinking, well, is the Anastasia gonna be any better? And holy crud, this baby lights up. So very excited about this. So if you haven't purchased it and you'd like to have, look at how pretty, if you like to have a really pretty glow, you do need this. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please put those below. I'd like to hear um, what have you used this palette on? Maybe not just as a normal cheek or highlighter. Have you used it for um, some extra sparkle on your eye? Have you used it in some of your lids? Um, let me know what you've used. I'm also on Instagram. So if you can tag me in some of the looks that you've done with this, I'd love to see it. And it's just like my name here on YouTube. It's Amy Ecker. So find me on Instagram. Let me know what you've done. Love, love to hear what you got going on um, because I enjoy playing and I love learning. So thank you so much for joining and staying for this video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing below. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. Can you Think about maybe sending me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day.